What we're going to be going over here is a loss contingency using allowance or evaluation account here. And for example here, Corporation A has a business with a book value here of six and a half million dollars and its estimated fair value here is nine and a half million dollars. Now the state government has told Corporation A they plan to build a highway where this business is located. So the state really plans to buy this business here. Now it is estimated that the state is only going to pay 60% here of the fair value of this business. And that's a reasonable estimate here in this case. So the question is how do we report this on our financial statement date? And this is say our financial statements here on 1231-20x1. And this uh, intention or the state here plans to buy with the intention here was made during the year here of 20x1. So the answer here is to record a loss and establish an allowance account here because the state has communicated the intent to buy the business and enough evidence exists to reasonably estimate the amount of the probable loss resulting from the impairment of assets at the balance sheet date here. So what are we uh, calculate our loss here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up this account here. We're going to look at the business's book value here and that's on the balance sheet as an asset account here. It's just we're really going through a really basic example here. So we are business's book value on the balance sheet. We're just saying it's debited here at six and a half million dollars. Now we set up this allowance account and we're also going on our balance sheet here to reduce the book value down to what we expect that we're going to be receiving here for this for this business or the the assets in the this business here and then we're going to set up this um, loss here evaluation loss here on our income statement for the amount of the loss that we're going to recognize so first to calculate our valuation loss here so we have the book value here our carrying value at six and a half million dollars and then the estimated state price that or the state's going to pay here corporation a for this business that's located where they're going to possibly built this highway, or at least that's their intention right now, is would be the uh, fair value of the business, nine and a half million times the 60% that they estimate they're going to get for, for the fair value here. So, and that's a reasonable estimate. So that's going to give us five and a $5.7 million here that Corp A is going to receive here from the state, or at least that's the plan that they have or what uh, they're looking at right now. So you take that here from the book value, subtract that from the 5.7 from the book value of six and a half million, you come up with a loss here of $800,000 because they're going to be getting less than what the carrying value is here. So again, we just set up this allowance account here uh, and that here is a contra account here to the uh, business's book value here. That reduces the business's book value here. And then for the allowance amount here, uh, we would accredit our allowance account here for 800000 and then our valuation here uh, on our income statement, a valuation loss here, debit that here for $800,000. So let's just go and uh, review this here. So the loss is measured by the amount the carrying value or the book value of the assets or this business exceeds the expected compensation that they're going to receive here from the state. Now a valuation account was established rather than a liability account because the net realizable value of the assets affected has decreased here. So normally when you're look, looking at these loss contingencies you would set up a liability account but in this case since uh, we set up the valuation account for the reasons mentioned here. Now, this provides a more appropriate presentation for financial statements here. It does not seem appropriate at this point to write off the assets or the business here involved because the loss here are involved because it may be difficult to determine all the specific assets involved and because the assets still have not been bought here by the state. So that just reviews here going back here how um, you can use these loss contingencies here but you don't always set up a liability account you can set up uh, an allowance account here when you're dealing with some assets here or a business here that the which you're going to receive less for the business here than its fair value and you can determine with a reasonable amount here what you're actually going to receive for the for this business here and in this case you can see here our book value here was greater than what we estimated or a reasonable estimate that the state was going to pay for it so we set up 
this valuation of loss here on our balance sheet, on our balance sheet date here when it's reported. Even though the business actually hasn't been purchased by the state, but it's highly probable that the state is going to go through uh, with this new highway and then they're going to have to buy out this business here from the um, from Corporation A here. Again, I'm just using this as an example. Would it actually happen where the state is going to pay less than uh, the fair value of the business? Well, it may, but probably in most cases they're going to pay up to the fair value or something like that. But I'm just using this as an example if, if you run into a problem like this here. All right, that takes care of our loss contingency using an allowance or a valuation account.